we're given vectors a and b and asked to find the dot product of vector a and b. To find the dot product of two vectors, we find the sum of the products of the corresponding components. And then if the dot product is positive, negative, or zero, it does tell us something about the angle theta between the two vectors, which we'll discuss more about after our first example. So to find the dot product of vector a and vector b, we would have negative three times negative five plus two times two plus five times three. So again, we would have negative three times negative five plus two times two plus five times three. So we have fifteen plus four plus fifteen, which equals thirty-four. So our dot product equals thirty-four, and as I mentioned earlier, the value of the dot product does tell us something about the angle theta between the two vectors. If the dot product is equal to zero, then the two vectors are orthogonal or perpendicular, meaning the angle theta between the two vectors is equal to pi over two radians. If the dot product is greater than zero or positive, which is our case, then the angle theta between the two vectors is less than pi over two radians. And if the dot product is negative, then the angle theta between the two vectors is greater than pi over two radians. Again, in our first example, the dot product was positive, so the angle theta between these two vectors would be less than pi over two radians. And let's verify that graphically. If we were to graph our two vectors in space, they would look like this, and notice how the angle between these two vectors is less than pi over two radians. Let's take a look at a second example. So we have the same question, just different vectors. So we'd have vector A dotted with vector B. which would be equal to one times negative five plus negative four times six plus two times three. So once again, we have one times negative five plus negative four times positive six plus two times three. So we have negative five plus negative twenty-four plus six, which is equal to negative twenty-three. Notice in this case, the dot product is negative, which means the angle between the two vectors, angle theta, would be greater than pi over two radians. And again, let's verify this graphically. Here are the graph of the two vectors, and as we can see, the angle between the two vectors is greater than pi over two radians. We have an obtuse angle between these two vectors. Let's take a look at one more example. Again, same question, two different vectors. So we have vector A dotted with vector B. So we'd have positive three times negative three plus negative four times positive four plus five times five. So again, positive three times negative three plus negative four times positive four plus five times five. So here we have negative nine plus negative sixteen plus twenty-five, which equals zero. And again, when the dot product equals zero, the two vectors will be orthogonal or perpendicular, and angle theta would be equal to pi over two radians. Let's go ahead and verify this graphically as well. Again, here's the graph of the two vectors in space. If we pause this at the right time, we can see these two vectors are orthogonal or perpendicular, which will always be the case when the dot product equals zero. I hope you found these three examples helpful.